Hello everyone. It's been a really long time since I uploaded a video and I am embarking on something new and I thought that what better way <laughs> to um, cope through figuring this out than recording it and sharing it with the internet, right? Okay, so I've never really used discs before other than sticker storage, but I've been intrigued by them because a lot of my friends use them and like them. And this all kind of stemmed from um, a Lights Planner Action Sale where I got this planner, which is called the Lynn Weekly. And it's really cool because every week there's like a different spread that Bess offers. And so I don't know when exactly I'm going to use this planner as I already have too many planners, but that doesn't matter. Um, I wanted to try this out because I thought it'd be really fun to play with stickers and layouts and just like challenge yourself every week to do something different. Um, and I was like, well, what better way to make that even, you know, more exciting than to um, plan on disc binding it. And so that's where we are is we have this that needs to be disc bound. And, you know, I ordered this and it came and then I started doing some research on how to, um, how to punch. And we got here, this was a hundred dollars. Um, there were other options, but this seemed to be the, the one. And, you know, when you start a new, I can't say a new hobby because I, this is planner still, but a new venture, um, what do you do other than buy all of the supplies you could possibly need? So this arrived today um, in all of its glory. It is, um, you can stop seeing the box now, but it is, it's heavy. Um, at first I thought I was gonna plug in and like, it's so heavy. Uh, it doesn't, it, it just, you release it, oh, release it here and then um, line up your pages and punch. Now, okay, I'm gonna go on a small rant here that I don't know if anyone else will be able to relate, but um, disc bound products are kind of a mystery to me. And let me, let me actually grab some examples to help with this. Okay, I moved the new big boy up here. This is what I really need to start with to explain this story fully. So I found these pages on Amazon and they fit JoJo stickers like pretty much perfectly. It's kind of a tight fit, but it works. And I mean, I love this that I can just kind of like pop it in and out and move it around and everything. So I had these and, um, and then I was like, okay, well, I've, I have all these now I need to put them on discs. These discs I had from Go Wild Anaheim. Um, Happy Planner gave them to us. And as, as well as this cover, except it was big. And so I just cut it down. Um, because when I went online and I was like, well, okay, how do I find a cover that's this size? Like Happy Planner calls it one thing and, you know, any other company calls it a different thing. And somehow we le we when we go into the disc world, from what I can tell, we leave behind like A5, A6, B5, B6, and we go into like letter, junior, classic, compact, like I words that don't actually describe anything and can vary from brand to brand. Um, okay, so so I did this. I mean, it, it's a little bulky, but uh, and it kind of fit the purpose, but. Okay, so I, I finished this and then I wanted more. Um, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven discs, okay? So then like I ordered this for my planner case sale. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one is also seven. But before you think that that makes sense, like for example, I got this um, set of discs from Levenger with this order. There's 11 here. And you'll find Amazon will have like sets of eight or six or nine, um, I don't, I don't understand. Here's the larger one, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, nine. nine. What, when would I use 11? This is as big as a whole piece of paper. So I, I asked a lot of questions in like Instagram stories trying to understand it. And I mean, people respond like ferociously about discs. Like, I mean, in a, they wanna be helpful. Um, but it's a little overwhelming because to me, it is just not straightforward. Okay. So I've got all this situation. Okay. So this is a five, you know, the way that we measure paper, that, that normal way that, you know, yeah. So this is a five. Um, 
and I need to um, disc punch it. How many discs will it take uh, is kind of a unknown mystery to me because you can't rely on how many in our package because it could vary. Um, I, I don't know. It's, it's weird, you guys. Okay, and then on top of that, um, I bought this, which had like a kind of aggressive name. It was like a Kraka, Kraka puncher or something. And this is allegedly what I'll need to get through um, the cover of this Light Splinter Action um, planner. So this was $20. So, so far just to, to, to venture in, oh my, to venture into the disc world, we're, we're $120 in, which is choices that I made, right? Um, I can't lock this thing. Crocodile. <sighs> okay. Um, choices that I made, right? Because there's cheaper ways to do it, but you know, if you're going to do it, then it's just best of the best. Okay. So then I was like, well, cool. Let me like, look at this. And there's some settings here of, you know, different sizes. So there's letter and then compact and then junior. And then it says like three by five circa PDA, micro PDA. None of that makes any sense to me. I think it's Levenger products, which is cool. Um, but like, can we really not agree on names? Because finding, like, finding stuff is really hard in this world. So the thing that I'm curious about is I, I need to understand that if I just, if I put this in here and punch it like at letter size right now, like it is, is that, is that good to go? Like, will that, will these be correct? I don't, I mean, I don't even know what, how it could be incorrect, but I decided to cut some paper down to a five size. So I have two sheets here, um, so that I could play with the settings a little bit and just make sure that I'm not like about to ruin. I, mean, I don't even know how you'd ruin it really, but okay. So we'll, we'll do this. This is letter size and I'm just putting it in. I'm trying to, I, I know I know how to punch. Oh, I, she's, she's on or she's locked. Okay. Yeah, that's the extreme. I didn't realize that using discs would require so many like power tools, but um, I hope that this is all the equipment that's needed because this is going to be some storage situation. Okay, so I've got it up against the thing for letter size and we're going to punch and this is what we came out with. So let me move this up. Like this seems fine, I think, except I don't know, like this and this are not the same gap. Um, and then I watched a YouTube video where someone folded it in half and they're mushrooms. Is that what we're calling these? Um, lined up, but these don't. And I don't know if it's important for them to line up or not. Um, but that's kind of what I'm trying to test, I guess. So like, let's see if I go to compact and I run the same exercise. I'm sure that's really loud for you. Oh my, see, okay, yeah, that did change things. Cause now we've got like a, a partial mushroom head, which would not be attractive. And this is way shorter. So we need something like in the middle of what happened here. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to cut more pages down to A5 size. This is Junior. Oh my God, just why can't these make sense? Okay, junior, here we go. This one looking in, it's looking pretty good. Um, okay, it looks, it kind of looks like it's suffering from the same issue as um, letter. Let's see, in fact, yeah, it's, it appears to be identical to what letter did. So it's not too bad, but like there's more room at the bottom here than here. And again, maybe that's normal. I don't, I don't know. I saw somebody on YouTube that kind of acted like it wasn't. So, and I, you know, I kind of like started watching videos, but then I was like, well, it'd be kind of fun to record myself. It's like just being 
chaotic and trying to understand this in front of y'all and I'm sure some of you were like screaming at the video like this is so obvious somehow but I don't find it to be okay so now we're down to um three by five which seems like a really deceptive name because nothing about this is that small um but also circa PDA and micro PDA I don't know okay Okay, so once again, we have some uh, mushroom cap overage. So I don't, I don't think that that's what we, we would want. Um, I, I feel like I'm probably going to have to phone a friend at this point because I, I guess I just need to know if this is normal. Like, I don't think it would really bother me. I mean, the discs are still equally spaced apart. Okay, we're let's see if we can if we can get someone on the line here. Okay, we are gonna try and patch in Jojo. She's not available. I expect she will be available soon and will call me back. I mean you guys are on a video, so I'll be able to cut this out and you won't even know that time passed, but meanwhile I just I wanna start punching this, but I don't wanna F it up. Hello. Very rarely would I not immediately get a FaceTime from you, but I was literally watching TikTok in the toilet. Um, this is being recorded for YouTube, FYI. As I'm talking to you right now? Yeah. <laughs> no. Because I was phoning a friend, so we'll have to decide if we're keeping that in or not. Hello, YouTube. We'll figure that part out later, but okay. <laughs> My... Um, my, my big boy is what I'm calling him right now, um, arrived in the mail today. So I've done some sample punching to try and figure out how I'm doing my A5, um, lights planner action planner, right? Uh -huh. And of course this Levenger like wants me to choose sizes that don't make sense to anything else as it seems to be the way of discs. Um, so like I, I, I tried some different samples. And like this one, like we got a cap of a mushroom here, so I, that's that's a no-go. Is mushroom the right term for this? Um, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm allowed to call it. Okay. Um, now this one is the closest to like normal, but there is more gap at the bottom than there is at the top. Is that normal? No. Well, I mean, a little bit. A little bit's fine. Yeah. Like, I saw a YouTube video where someone folded their paper in half and their mushrooms lined up. Is that, is that, is there a reason that that would be important? As long as you're doing it consistently for every page, no. Because it only matters if you're off when you are, like, if you're putting together a planner, right? Mm -hmm. And your holes don't line up, so your pages are going to get, they're not going to line up perfectly. But as long as you do it consistently every time for your own planner, that's fine. Okay, because I mean, I could go like off the grid and choose something in between one of their presets, but then I would have to somehow get back to that every time I wanted to punch something, which would be Correct. pretty hard to... Just use whatever guiding line, as long as you tell yourself that's the line I, I will always punch, you'll, you'll, you're fine. Okay. That was your phone a friend question. Are you, are you going to edit out that bit above? Am I going to edit out why you didn't answer the phone? Maybe. You don't, you don't have to. It's super funny. It, it is super funny. I mean, I, I did text you and say I was filming a chaotic YouTube video and that your assistant is just need. I was, I was literally. Yeah, we, we know. Okay, well, let me um, continue my adventure here. And uh, will you be around for a little bit? Yeah, I'm just working on some... Uh... Designing some sticker kits. So. Oh, any any um any preview for the listeners? I'm working on the the second half for Laurel Blaze kits, and then I can really focus on coming out with some standard planner kits. I don't know. We use the one and a half inch columns um, because rumor on the street is people want those kind of things. Yeah. Um, and by street, I mean you. You <laughs> you tell me you want those things. I do. Yeah. All right, well, um, we'll be looking forward to that for sure. Awesome. Well, thanks for calling. Call me again. And well, I only had one lifeline, so um, I, it, I'm really just on my own from here on out. Good luck to you. Okay, you heard it. We are 
we're gonna just punch this and the fact that our mushrooms don't line up when we fold it in half is not gonna matter. And in the comments, you can tell me that it should have mattered and I will believe you, but I will not be able to do anything about it as I will have already finished this project. We're just jumping right in. Okay. So it said you can do 15 pages at a time. Uh, this is more like, I think like seven. I'm not trying to go too crazy here on my first real punch. Oh, oh goodness. Okay, well maybe, maybe we'll cut that down a little. This could be an arm strength issue. Well, <laughs> okay, we made it through. Um, I'm gonna have to edit out those sounds because that, if you're wearing uh, uh, AirPods, that's gonna be unacceptable. Okay, so probably I'm gonna put some music on. welcome back um my heart started racing I think approximately four different times during that punching session as I was afraid that I punched it on the wrong side of the um you know thing editing Mackenzie coming in here to tell you that I took out the bit where I was trying to figure out if this is the same as a three hole punch or not I was kind of in a tired delirium at this point I think and so it's better off that you didn't hear it so we have this all ready to go so now it's time for our, I already forgot the name again, but the, the crocodile, croca punch, croca something. I'm probably the most nervous about this. How do we do this if we don't have any mushrooms yet? It's slippery. I really want it to turn out nice. We're just gonna have to do it. I don't like this. I wonder if I'm over it. Well, maybe we'll do the back first, just to like, I'm sure this gets easier with like repetition, but I thought, you know, what could be more interesting than watching someone struggle through it for the first time. Okay, so we are lined up as well as I know to be. God, why am I so nervous to do it? Just do it already. Okay, we did it. That looks good. But now, I mean, we should just be able to zip through this. Like this part, actually. Yeah, this is fun and satisfying. Look at this. Oh dear. Um, I might have been going too fast. This mushroom doesn't have the same height as the prior mushroom. I got a little overexcited. Okay, I don't really know what words to use at this point. See, if I could let go of perfectionism, it would be helpful, but it's not a tonight thing for sure. We're gonna slow down just a little bit. We are still having fun, but... I guess it's kind of like you got to hold it straight too. I think it's going to be okay. I'm, n I'm not too, too worried. Okay, so then this one, this side, needs to be punched. I kind of think we just want to come in and do this again. This is not... This is where the whole like short side, long side seems to kind of matter. Yeah, I guess it actually... In fact, it, it really matters. But as long as I'm using a piece of paper from the planner as a guide, I'm okay. And if I'm using the same cover, okay. Does anyone else have to talk themselves through like this? Like, I mean, this is a piece of laminated paper. I could, it's not the end of the world. It does feel like it a little bit. Okay, we did it. I just, it was kind of like, you know, getting a shot or something. You just got to go fast and we get to have fun, but we need to do it slowly in order to not mess up. Okay, we have a planner now. Okay, so as if you don't if you're not familiar with lights planner action um her stuff is very uh black and white and so uh when i decided to order discs i was indecisive like every time i do anything in my life um and so i did order both clear and um metallic so we're just gonna take some of these out i feel pretty confident i'm gonna go with the metallic i mean the clear would look really classy i mean you wouldn't even really see them because they're clear but um, I got these that are, uh, they're called ultraviolet, I think. Yeah, ultraviolet. And as a purple lover, like the, that looks pretty freaking cool. Um, okay, so this is the, my other gripe about discs, <laughs> as if we haven't had enough yet, uh, is these are one inch discs. How did I know 
what size disc to order. I, I didn't really. Um, what I did do was measure this and it was like, like about half an inch or maybe a little more if I remember correctly. I'm not going to measure again. It doesn't matter. But um, I use a lot of stickers and so I was like, I will round up to an inch and at some point maybe we'll have to put it on bigger discs, but um, that'll happen when that happens. It feels like you're kind of like messing up. Well, no, these slide on pretty well. So Carrie is the one that, uh, what would Carrie craft is the one who recommended the Levenger discs. And they're, they're quite expensive compared to like Amazon discs. But um, Carrie is a very budget conscious person. And so I know she wouldn't recommend them just like for funsies. Um, and maybe this is why, because with the, the other times I've used paper and discs, it's been kind of a struggle to get the paper on the discs to the point where I felt like I was kind of like bending the paper. Maybe that was too many to do at once, but I think that as a whole, um, I suspect that, you know, like assuming that I use this on a regular basis months down the line from now, I will look back at this and laugh with how much gentleness I approached all of this with. Because I don't think it's meant to be treated that gently. Um, how we, as we've discovered, we won't need all eleven because that make too much sense. Okay, welcome back. We we did it. I figured putting on the covers together would be kind of fun because I think this is gonna make like a nice like snappy noise kind of it kind of makes a nice snappy noise oh look at that she's pretty I feel really satisfied with myself right now Okay, and actually the disc size is better with the covers on. Um, it doesn't, they're not wobbling around as much. Look at that. Ooh, I like the ultraviolet. Okay, so this is my new planner. So see, this doesn't turn super well. So I feel like I might have to go back and like double mushroom it or something. Um, that's gonna be a like, leave your roast suggestions in the comments. Like the Levenger punch definitely like left me with pages that are very easy to turn but the cover and that crock of puncher not so much man this is so cool so anyway I think this is a really cool planner layout um truly every week you get something completely different um which you know if you played with this long enough you'd find maybe which ones are your favorites and then you could order that planner specifically from best so this is something that she put out a while in, a while ago, and I really wanted to try it. Ooh, we got lots of note pages too. Um, oh look, there you go. So which pages have uh, which layout and the skew for it? Fifty-two weeks of planning. Um, the first thirty-two are listed above, and then they repeat for the twenty. So thirty-two different layouts, which is pretty freaking cool. So yeah, the cover thing we're gonna have to work on a little bit, but. This is so cute. I'm happy with it. Um, and I mean, the best part of all with discs, not that I would rearrange a, a planner. See, this is like where everybody just like rips it out, but that really makes me nervous. So I like go really slow. Um, but yeah, that, that part. And I could even put like a sticker sheet in here. I could do all kinds of things. Okay. Um, thank you for being my emotional support friends as I went through this journey. As you can see, we had to phone a friend. We used some new heavy equipment. We talked about my misunderstanding of discs as a general rule, and hopefully some of you will, will be able to help me. Um, I would love it if somebody made just like a video like explaining discs and how we got to this place. Not, but you can't only talk about one company because then we, that exasperates the problem. Thank you for watching, and I, I hope to come back with more videos. I haven't really meant to abandon you but that has happened um i i will be back soon and 
yeah, um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for hopefully more. I, I can't promise it at this point, but I, my intents are good. Bye.